Hi chess friends, welcome to this new video. Today I want to show you a game that I played on chess.com against 2048 ELO and uh, I'm trying to play every day 10 minutes on the clock games and uh, I'm trying to improve my ELO here and I reach uh, over 2000 and uh, in this game I play with the white pieces, my opponent with black pieces and in with a 10 minutes game like always and I played the e, e4 uh, e6 by my opponent and uh, knight f3 and uh, d5 we have e capture for d5 e capture for d5 and now d4 we have knight uh, f6 and bishop uh, d3 bishop uh, d6 and now bishop uh, g5 to pin this uh, this knight uh, my opponent castle and uh, I decide to, to to castle because I have no time to develop my piece my knight for example because check is coming and uh, I, I don't want to come back with my piece here or, or here okay so I decide to castle that is the best move recommended by by the engine so we have uh, h6 to attack my my dust square bishop and uh, here I come back to to continue to pin this knight and uh, bishop uh, e7 to unpin the knight another possibility um, here uh, was uh, for example c6 uh, to control the center or rook e8 normal move of development if you play something like this it's also a good move uh, but maybe this bishop now is close so maybe you want to develop better your light square bishop However, uh, bishop e7 is a good move and I just play rook e1, continue the game, and knight to c6, normal development, nothing special. I play c3, with the c3 I control the, the d4 squ square, I defend my pawn and also I block the coming of the knight of, or the bishop here, but the knight, okay, this knight here can't uh, attack my light square bishop, this is important for me. And uh, this move is is uh, recommended by the engine. Also, I can play a three, but I just play c three. We have bishop g four to to pin my my knight here, and uh, I play knight d two to hold the, the position. Knight uh, h five to open up uh, a, an attack for this uh, bishop. So I have to be really careful because the queen and the bishop are attacking my bishop. So. This is a threat, and also this knight can jump here to attack my light square bishop and uh, to put pressure, for example, on the g2 bone, maybe to control better the a2 square. The rook is coming, so I just trade. I decide to trade, uh, and also bishop e7, 47 is a good move. Another possibility was to play h3, and. Uh, I thought h3 wasn't is not a bad move, okay? Because after bishop capture, I have h capture for g4, and this knight is attack. So black has no way to save both both pieces. You if you move the knight, what well, what can you do with the knight? If you move the here, I I can simply take this this uh, bishop, and uh, if knight uh, now is a move, for example, uh, here the only square to save this knight, I have uh, like uh, bishop f5. Bishop f5 is a winning move. I just defend my pawn, uh, and this knight here is bad because has no more this target, and uh, I think I can capture this this bishop next move maybe. Uh, computer suggests to play bishop f6, to but the position is better for me. Okay, I can play g3, and now this knight has no good square. Uh, knight g6 has to come here and uh, a king g2 and uh, I have uh, more, more more activity okay but it was only a choice uh, of the computer so I trade uh, another move last move that I, sh I sh show you is uh, in this line is, is uh, bishop g3 bishop g3 and um, I I simply come back with the bishop. I consider this okay, but I just trade. We have capture, capture, and now I play knight h1. Knight h1 uh, 
is uh, my idea is to bring the knight here on e3 or uh, like g3 okay and knight uh, f4 like prevent it to attack my dark square my light square bishop and i just come back i want to keep it my light square bishop on this diagonal and now c6 to defend this pawn and that now i just play knight d3 honestly i don't know i didn't know what to play here if knight d3 or knight g g3 uh, knight g3 is maybe better or h3 but i i didn't play a, a bad move or a good move normal okay this bishop now is attacked but bishop now come back and here i i wasted time it's so bad i played I, knight uh, f1 again and bishop come back again uh, I had the possibility to repeat, but now I just I play a better move, knight g3, okay? Even if I wasted time. Knight uh, knight g6, and now I I play this time h3. Uh, this bishop now come back, and now here I was thinking something like bishop capture here. If pawn capture, I can capture the rook. Uh, uh, but this is not a blunder because here black has not to recapture with the pawn okay uh, or can, can recapture with the knight okay also and uh, also if captured with the pawn this knight defend defends this bishop okay so i can't play this i play knight t2 we have a trade and uh, after this move bishop queen here to maybe to try to play this this bishop f4 i play queen uh, Queen uh, d3, the best move recommended by the edge because I, I'm putting pressure on this diagonal and, and the bishop can come here. We have uh, f4, f5, sorry. And now, if you try, for example, this, you can't. Okay, there is checkmate in one, so this move is really strong because prevents the movement of this bishop here and also the knight. Here we have uh, f5, and now I completely blunder. I just didn't control and I play rook e1. I, I thought it's good. I double up on the e file, but I didn't control what. What is the threat? I'm attacking the bishop, but look at this. There is knight f4, and my opponent played it, and I I was so oh, I blunders this move, so bad for me knight f4. Now my queen is attacked and my rook is attacked. I have to move my queen, I will lose my rook. Yeah. And uh, here was better, for example, to play g3, okay, to block this uh, the, the coming of the knight here. And uh, if white tries this, black tries this, so there is a capture here for... Also, not only the capture for the knight, queen capture for g6, but also this is really nice line, knight here. And knight can capture because uh, the queen is coming. Knight to, uh, queen h queen h seven and king has to be moved. And now I can simply take. Uh, sorry, not this obviously. I can simply g g four h four the the knight and the position is better for me. I'm, I'm threatening this, and uh, okay. So better position. However, I played, uh, I blunder and my opponent played knight a4 and here I was worried about the game. I played queen e3, my opponent captured my rook, I recaptured the knight and here I have only 3 minutes on the clock. My opponent has 6 minutes with 13 seconds, 60 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock and uh, I was not all in time trouble but I has lost my my rook for a knight so what can i do i try to survive i thought my knight here is really strong knight e5 can be a draw position because computer suggests that here is a uh, is not losing position for white okay because knight e4 knight e5 sorry this square when the knight come here this knight can be attacked can you see there is no pawn this pawn is, uh, uh, and this pawn are already pushed. So this knight can jump here. And also there is no knight, nothing. 
So there is only light square bishop, not dark square. So one at a time, this knight will jump here. This knight here can be removed by black. And this is their advantage. So I decide to play in this way. I have no rook for my blunder, but I can play in this way. I can put my knight here and close the position with the with my pawn and block the attack of the rook of my opponent. My only way to survive. My opponent play rook e1 and I just put my before the queen to move my my knight, okay? Before to move my knight, but knight e5 is the best move, okay? However, this and now after queen here to try to change the queen I play knight uh, knight uh, e5 was possible to change the queen not yet computer suggested that is not good so I decide to keep the to keep my queen still and this knight now is so strong blocks the e5 and I now I just I I just play to close the position and really fast because my time is uh, is not a lot. Uh, we have some move uh, queen um, queen d8 to try to to change the queen again. So here I could change the queen, but I didn't. Queen f4, queen f6. Some move of queen. The rook uh, here, but the knight here is protected really well. And now now queen d3 and now bishop d c8. And here I uh, I play a4 f4 because. Uh, uh, I was thinking about this sacrifice, maybe, I don't know if it's good, but for example, a casual move, this move, that has no sense, I was scared about this, that is not a good move, but it's not a dangerous move, but I just play f4 to close the position, I told you, g3, g3, sorry, g6, g3, and now rook uh, e7 and queen uh, d, d1, I have only 1 minute and 39 seconds, a6 we have some pushing of pawn king g g7 and uh, we just push some pawn here on the queen side and now can you see i close the position to completely block the double rook of attack so remember this if you have no if you have lost your piece for example for a rook like like happens to me you have to try to close the position in this way can you see i decide to close everything here with this stuck pawn to block to fix the the pawn structure and now i have my opponent try to open up on the and play on g5 so i bring my king here my rook here sorry rook g2 and king is move away now i just play queen f2 i want to defend better this and bring the king here we have some movement some moves and now after g4 i simply capture capture and now queen here and now this file is closed this pawn is defending really well so there is no possibility here for black to win okay maybe for computer black has a few advantage but it's very really difficult we have bishop f5 but we have a trade trade and i, I just decide to trade the, the queen that is not the perfect way because here black is is winning but it's not easy to find the way so rook uh, rook c5 is uh, the best move here h5 but how can you play h5 and lose this pawn how can you play this move because there is rook e3 but i just come back so you play a move like this it's a really incredible move so it's a, a human move my opponent played the normal move and defend the pawn yes probably was better to play this instead but it's always a draw so i just move the rook here some king moves and now rook moves uh, rook h1 to, to, to. i try i want to to, put, to play this move okay i i try to attack to build something because i want to infiltrate here 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 and take some pop and uh, we have rook f5 uh, rook f6 to prevent this idea i didn't change the rook I didn't change the rook uh, and uh, my opponent repeat uh, rook f8 this time another time to block this I was playing with only 44, se 44 seconds on the clock we have some move now game of repetition but this time I have a check after king f8 I have rook f5 check 
the king come here and now it's winning for me the only way to survive here is to play king a8 and i had no no way to defend to play this move because look at this rook capture 45 and now what can i play if i capture the rook folds okay can you see and white here is losing because white is, is down the rook but this is a terrible blunder. You can't play king e7 because I have this check and my rook now is a monster. I play this move and here I am threatening this move but also I am threatening to take the rook. How can you save your rook here? It's not easy because black here is in time trouble with only 1 minute 33 seconds on the clock and look at this. This knight here is controlling the d7 square, is controlling the f7 square and now what can you do here this king has no way to escape this rook check is coming so what you can play here if rook come here also this this is checkmate in one okay the only way to save the rook but all, always a losing move is rook f8 rook f8 because after this rook check the king can escape here and continue to defend the rook but with a lot of pressure my opponent played the h5 and I take the rook and now I was winning but I have to play fast king f6 rook h5 check king moves here I decide to take with another pawn with check king tried to come here to take this pawn but there is not here to cover so I, I just play rook h5 and now rook h1 king come here rook c1 I don't like this move because now the king can come here, but okay. Uh, and we have a rook here, king capture, rook c, c3 check, king capture, and now I decide to trade. Rook capture for c3, rook capture for c3, knight capture for c3 check, and now it's for c6, sorry. One time the king is moved, now I just push my pass pawn and I, will, I, will, I won the game because my opponent tried to do the same but I just sacrificed my knight and now after some move I play with a queen and I, I just put move to a queen and the game continue with some uh, light check it was a problem for me only because I, I, I just won with can you see all if I give a checkmate here with 3 seconds on the clock and uh, I won against the 2048 Hello. so i i hope this video enjoy you uh, remember if you lose a piece uh, don't resign you could do something uh, nothing is lost okay because here was i was really worried about this game because i i lost my rook can you see i just plundered this double attack really easy knight f4 what can I do here? Obviously, it's not a good position, but I tried to find a solution. So I have no, no rook, but I have this knight also here is so strong, and I have to close the position to try to draw. And luckily, I won. So thank you really much for watching my video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and see you soon with another video. Bye bye. Thank you.